Welcome back, it's your girl T, and I'm here to give you tips on movement. So today I will be making a reversible hat. Um, I did put on Instagram and I asked my peoples what would they like to see me make, and it was between an infinity scarf and a reversible hat, and they chose reversible hat. So let's get in. So here is my Addy, and today I decided to put the legs on after having it for almost a year now. Like, I don't usually use a table, but since I'm, you know, teaching, I was like, oh, let me go find these legs and put them on. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't dash them. Because usually if I don't use them, I don't need it, whatever. But I found them, thank the Lord. So I'm not even going to show you how to cast on because in my previous video, you can find that. So check my cards for that. Click on the card. And um, so I'm gonna cast on and then I'll come back. So I cast on and now I'm gonna put my yarn in the yarn feeder and then I'm just gonna allow it to do its thing. So we're gonna just go around with the red first. We're gonna go around for like um, I think like 60 rows. We wanna go around 60 rows with the first color. And me, I like to pull my yarn from the center instead of unraveling it around and around. When you pull it, look, easy, it comes out easy. So I usually pull it from the center. That's a tip. So I'm going to go around and catch back up after my 60 rows. So that clicking sound, that is each time you go back to the beginning. So as I was going around, my yarn did finish on me. So I think I had another um, yarn, red yarn. This is from red heart and it's called cherry red oh, you can see that uh -huh. from red heart so i will just be tying hold on let me see if i can find this one from the center as well yep so what i'm gonna do is tie the two ends together and you want to tie it like really fine i'm doing it this way let's see let's see See. Yes, okay, that works. So the knot is right here, and being that it didn't fall right right under one of the pegs, I'm able to tighten the knot now. Yes, I'm so happy for that. And then I'm just gonna continue going around. So it looks like the tension is really tight because I'm halfway to 60, and it's not that long. So I think I'm gonna have to do more than 60, actually. Oh boy. I go around and I get the right amount I will I will um, put that number I'll add that number so we can have the so we can have the right amount but yeah the tension is really tight so I'm gonna have to do more than 60 so I'm about to do my last row and I actually just did 10 more so all together there's 70 and I'm gonna switch colors I'm going from red to black so I'm just gonna cut my red yarn and put that in the center and I'm going to attach the black yarn Let's see if I can put it in the center too I don't know where this string is coming from. Oh no. Whoa. All right, it's coming from two different places. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get it together and come back. Okay, got it. So I'm getting it from the center and I'm going to the same, put a little length in the, in the middle of the Addy Express machine and I'm gonna lock it in the yarn feeder um, I'm 
gonna make it go around and once I lock it in, once that first black needle hooks it down, I'm gonna tie the black and red yarn together. Cause if you don't, you would have just did all of that work for no reason. Cause it will unravel. It'll be a hole and that will be it. So I'm double knotting it. Make sure it's like triple knotted just to make sure. And this is gonna be in the center. I'm gonna cut it later. We'll fix all that after. But now we're just gonna go around the same with the black yarn, 70 rows. And once we do that, then we'll be able to close it. Also, this in the center, you could just like roll it up or whatever, cause it's gonna get longer and then it won't have no room in the middle. So you just roll it up and leave that in the center. So all of that left in the center and then you just continue to go around until you reach 70 rows. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll come back. I actually cannot wait till I start doing like different patterns with the hats and scarves because I definitely made a hat like this. It just reminds me, looking at it, it reminds me of the other um, black and red hat I made before. But that hat I didn't make on the AliExpress machine. I made it on my loom. Remember I told y'all hung it up? <laughs> I made it on that. So I'm about five rows away from completing the black. And um, as I was going around, I just, you know, keep rolling it, rolling it, so I can have room at the bottom. Um, now that I reach my 70 rows of black, I, um, I'm just going to eyeball it to make sure that, you know, it size up to be the same length. So I just turn it inside out like that, right by where the colors attach, where they meet. And it looks just seems about right, same size. So now the fun part, the fun part, binding off. Ooh, that's not the fun part, but yeah, let's get into that. Whoa, y'all was not supposed to see me. Anyways, so you want to get your needle, your yarn needle. You see that hole? That's where the yarn goes through. So you could bind off. So I'm gonna get a good length because I have to take all of these off. So I'm gonna just size it like imagine that I'm going around. So it's better to have more yarn than less yarn. So go around two times and then that's how much I'm gonna cut off. So I'm gonna cut it off right here. So I have all of this to play with. So I'm gonna cut that off and bind it off. So you wanna feed the yarn through the needle. So, see that? Like that. I don't know if you can see that. It has a little curve. Compared to the one that I have that I got from Walmart, it's just like straight, but this one has a little curve. So, we're gonna open the yarn feeder, take that out. And we're gonna start to go around from that first white peg. I'm gonna hook this one up. So, let's see if we can get a closer view. This is where the yarn stops. So you wanna just go to the next peg and take it off. You see? And gather it onto the string. Feed it onto the string. I hope I'm taking it off the right way. No, I'm not. All right. I gotta put it underneath because, but it's still on the same yarn. You just wanna collect all the yarns off of the little red pegs as you go around. This is what you call binding off. So I'm gonna turn the crank handle and just pick up. And I'm just picking up the yarn as I go. Pick it up. And now that, now that I got a better view, I'm gonna attempt again to show you how to bind off. So you see that white needle as it go down? I'm just picking up the thread, the yarn right off of it. And pulling it through you want to gather the yarn from this angle instead of this angle you want to pick it up from here and i'm going to show you why in the end let's go a little faster 
Closing the hat should be the fun part. I really like this view better because you could definitely see what I'm doing. I'm happy. Because <laughs> when I was learning, hmm, I was critiquing some of these videos that I was seeing. So, y'all could do the same for me. Let me know. You know? Let me know. What's up? But I really enjoy doing this. Like, you know, it gives you a little peace of mind. Especially with everything that's going on. Personal life, social life. So, yeah. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> Being too fast. So when that happens, you better just find it or you will lose it. So it really didn't all the way come off, so that's good. But you just wanna get it before it does. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> I'm gonna stop talking. Bring me back to the beginning. That's it. So we just completed. Bind off. So here I still have the yarn, the needle only yarn, because we're going to close. See over this inside? We could just cut it a little shorter, but it really doesn't matter because it's going to be inside the hat, being that it's reversible. The two ends are going to close. So it really doesn't even matter. That that's in there but we'll cut this is how it looks so the braided side is what we'll be showing so this side you want to close your hat so all I'm, all I'm doing is finding where the string is right here and I'm gonna just pull it all I'm doing is pulling it and you're gonna watch it gather together. And that's how you close the top of your hat. Easy. Close it, that's it. Nothing hard. That's why I said it is the fun, the fun part. The easy part, the fun part. Closing the hat. Well, this is the black one, so it's hard to see. I'm gonna show you the right one. But yeah, so just pull it. And then you pull it, pull it tight. That's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna feed the yarn through the top from one side to the other side and put the yarn like that to like make a knot at the top right so I secured that end that part is closed see it's closed and I'm gonna do the same thing to the red part we're still not done with that but so now you just wanna bring the red part over the black you see this you're going to size it up where the black and red meet so like that it don't matter I already locked the black so I think I could cut some of this off because when I close up the red you're not gonna see this black yarn no more so I cut the extra excessive yarn so the red you're gonna do the same thing we're gonna feed the yarn through the needle. Right? And I'm just gonna find where the string is and pull it, same way, pull it. So all you're doing, pulling it to close the top of the hat. And this is the red side, so. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm just closing up the red. And once I close it, I'm gonna do the same thing, make a knot at the top of the hat. See it's close? I'm gonna cut the needle through the hat at the top to make a knot as well. So this is how I lock it, right? And then I'm gonna go through the black side. Oh, I messed up. I was supposed to put that black yarn through this hole. <laughs> oh, so it could get stuck together. See, it does not look this way. But, let me see. See what be happening? And then I gotta figure this out. I pulled it real tight too already. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna open it back up. 
I'm gonna open it back up. So like this, I could see it right here. I'm gonna pull it. See? I'm gonna open it back up. I'll open back the hole. And I'm gonna look for the black. I'm gonna look for the black string, the black yarn to pull through. So they could lock, so it could lock together. And then I'm gonna sew it close together. So I finally found the black yarn. So I can close back up the red now. I'll be making mistakes, y'all. But we learn from it, so I'm ready at least. So I'm gonna just hold this black yarn with the red one. Okay. So it should. So I'm just passing it through again and making it up. I'm gonna just do it a couple of times. Oh. And then I'm gonna tie the black and the red together. And y'all can even see it. And after I'm gonna cut the excessive yarn. Well guys, that's basically it. Go ahead and subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and give this vid a thumbs up. Also, any other information I will put down in this in the description. So check that out and stay tuned because your girl is coming with more. There you have it, a black and red reversible hat. I also want to thank everyone who participated on my Instagram. If you don't have my Instagram, you can follow me now. Thank you. Bye.